Hello everyone, this is King Kony LT, and in this video I will show you our new product. Uh, we have designed this KC868D16. This is a demo controller. We have spent almost six months to design and development uh, for this demo controller. Because this time, this version of the demo controller has many different and have huge improvement. And look, let's look at uh, what have changed. You can see this time we have 16 channel output. You can connect with the 16 channel of the LD. Like this one, you can see here the LD lamp, and this is the LD lamp. So you just connect with a different driver. So you can use 12 watt or 24 watt or 220 volt of AC uh, lamp uh, that can control by the D16 demo controller. So this is usually used for this lamp. And this time, the demo controller have a 16 channel output. And also you can see here, I have a Wi-Fi antenna. The so Wi-Fi antenna is used by the Tuya application. And the internet is work for the Home Assistant by the MQTT. So you can use the Tuya application and the Home Assistant application at the same time. Because the Wi-Fi and the internet, that can work at the same time. So if you're outside of your home, and you just in the world, in anywhere, so you can use your mobile phone, just use the Tuya application, uh, controlling this output for 16 channel demo. And if in your home, then you can use the home assistant working locally. So that will be very uh, safety and uh, flexible for the demo controller. And another improvement, now this time, the demo controller will have used the new wireless receive module. So that it can pair with many uh, popular uh, remote on the market. Be because you can see here is the remote uh, before we have used. And this time you can use this one. And you can use this one. And also you can use uh, this one. Uh, many different you can choose, use your own remote. Just use 433 megahertz and it can pair the signal with this demo controller. So that can learning the signal from the remote. So that can choose any different appearance of the remote, uh, just uh, you like it. And uh, this is a digital input uh, for the wall switch. So you can also use the wall switch because it's working locally, that will be safety. And just use the momentary switch or drive contact signal, uh, use this one and connect with this terminal directly. That max support uh, 1,000 meter is enough for your project or your house to use. So this time, another change, that every channel of the output, uh, if you want to use this wall switch, every button just use one one and not two one, because the last version we have used two one for one button, uh, one is for brightness up and when is for brightness down. But this time we have reduced the one, just use the one one. So that can loop for the brightness up and the brightness down. That will be loop. If you hold down the button, that will be loop change the brightness. If you click just on and off, so that will be immediately work for turn on the light or turn off the light. And uh, this controller also can support the Google Home Speak and Alexa Speak and Alice Speak directly. Not need to use the voice module, not need to use the Home Assistant, not need to use the Node-RED. So that will be directly to use. That will be very useful. And here are some different uh, advantages. Let's look at the details. Here you can see the D16 camera controller have 16 channel output and 16 channel input and IS485 and Ethernet and the Wi-Fi. And here you can see how install the D16 camera controller into the power distribution box and with the driver and with the lamp. And at first you can use the wall switch to control the lamp on and off. This is basic function. And every button this time just use one one. You can see here have six buttons and the back you can see here that is six line and the one common line so totally have seven lines that will be easy for connect with the demo controller 
And here you can see some different wall switch. So this wall switch, you can use a different button and control one lamp. Because sometimes uh, maybe your lamp need to install the wall switch in different room. So some different place and use the buttons, you can control one lamp. That will be easy for the gamer controller just to connect all wires together. No limit how many panels can be used. And here you can see we can use button for short click uh, for lamp on and off. But this time we have multi functions for one button. You can see I can hold on the button and the lamp brightness will be changed. So I hold on this button and the brightness will from down to up and up to down and down to up. So it just will loop. So if I don't release my finger, that will be always change the brightness. Until you release the finger, that will be stopped. So that the brightness value will be saved. And here we can see that is another function. We can save the brightness state. You can say I hold on and the brightness state is saved. When I should click on and off, that will be on, turn on the lamp and use the last time the value of the brightness. I hold on and let the brightness become up. And this time we can let the lamp is brightness up. When I release my finger, we can see now I can short click and the lamp will be on and off. As a set, we have saved the brightness value. So this is remember function for the brightness after hold down the buttons. Okay, now let's look at the 433 MHz remote so that can be controlling the lamp on and off. For every channel, uh, this is 6 gun buttons version. And also you can use other remote. This is 8 buttons version. So you can also turn on the lamp and turn off the lamp by one key. So you just prepare with your remote by yourself. And this time, uh, the demo controller will support uh, using local network. So we can use mobile phone just logging with the IP address of the controller. So you can see here the uh, brightness bar you can ch you can control every channel of output. So just in local network, you can use your iPhone or use your Android phone, use your web browser to control the 16 channel output and without install any application. So that will be useful. And also we can use PC compute or use your Apple Macintosh. So also we can use the web browser and input the IP address of your demo controller and just enter in the web board. So you can see this is login information, use your username and the password and login to your country panel. And now we can see the 16 channel can be controlled. We can just use this brightness bar to control brightness up and change different brightness by your mouse on the computer. This is Tuya application. You can download from the Google Store or Apple Store. So you can enter the demo controller control panel. And this time, you can use the win window to control 16 chain output. You can see this is switch button. You can turn on and turn off. And this will, when you turn on, that brightness will 99%. That is max brightness. Also, you can use the brightness bar to control the different value of different output channel. So you can see we can change the brightness uh, by this bar. Here we can use the voice country uh, by the speak. So you can see here is Amazon Alexa Anchor speak. Also you can use Amazon other speak. And this is a Google Home Mini. Also you can use the Google Home speak other module. So this just I use for the test. Alexa. Turn on Gamma LD1. Okay. Alexa, turn off Gamma LD1. Okay. Alexa, 
set gamma LED one to fifty percent. Okay. Alexa, set LED one to eighty percent. Okay. Alexa, set LED one to ninety percent. Okay. Alexa, turn off LED one. Okay. Now we can use the Tuya application use the timer function. We just click the timer setting and add a schedule. You can see here we can set the time. And when the time arrived, the brightness one and change to which percent we have set to 50% and click save. And when the time is arrived and the lamp will set to the 50%, you can see here that is running. And here we can use the group country mode. You can create things that tap to run so that you can add the actions. Uh, we can choose the device and set which switch that is for on. This is channel one, we just for on that is change the max brightness. And add a delay because this needs time for our actions. So we can add about uh, three seconds for the delay time. And you can choose by yourself and we can run the device and turn on the channel 2. so this time we just click one icon that will be on turn on the lamp one and the lamp two so you can see that we create so we can click and here you can see the light one is on and after three seconds and the light two is on so this is group country function Okay, now you can also use this function to set the different lamp with different brightness value. So you can just use this way to set the device, such as this time. The channel 1 brightness we can set to 39%. Can click, and next we can add a delay time. Also, we can add three seconds, four seconds, and now we can add the second channel that we can set a different brightness value so that we can use one click and change the different lamp. This is 91. We can click next and save. So you can click this button. And this time, you can see the first channel is changed to the brightness uh, 39, and the second is changed brightness to 91. So that will be useful to country different lamp with different value. And here we can see that is another function. You can see here, we can turn on the lamp and change the brightness for the lamp 1, and this is the lamp 2 change to another brightness. And this time we can maybe your controller is power off, maybe the power feature. And this time the disk thing channel gamma controller that will be out to recover state after the power on. You can see here when the power on, the brightness state will auto recover. So this is auto recover function. And here you can see is another function. You can share with your device uh, to your friend or to your family other friends so you can see here two mobile phones you can show your device to your user uh, just click uh, which one which user to show just click that will be shown successfully so you can use two mobile phone country one device at the same time or many mobile phones three five four all can use Okay, now let's look at the switch panel and the Tuya application, the state feedback. You can see we can click the switch on and every button for these six buttons. And the Tuya application will update the state by the switch icon. So we can turn on and turn off and the application will update the state uh, for every channel just so you have connected with your switch. 
And this is for on and off. And this you can see, I can hold on, hold on this button that changes the brightness. Just when we release with the finger, so the brightness will be updated. The value will be changed on your Toya application. And also we can see this is the IF remote and when we press on and off from this remote and the Toya application also will update the state and the brightness at the same time. So you can see we can control the channel 1 and the channel 2 of the dimmer and the state will be updated. Okay, at last I think you will install this D16 channel dimmer controller to your power distribution box. So this box is also made by metal box. You can install on the thing rail and that will be support. You can see here just as this way and you can install this thing rail to your power distribution box. That will be easy to fix on the box. Okay, thanks for watching.